Hello everyone, my name is Mike Reed, producer on Crisis 3. We're going to look at two out of the eight modes in the all-new Crisis 3 multiplayer experience due out in February of 2013. For the multiplayer in Crisis 3, we've added a large number of exciting maps, weapons, attachments, and gameplay modes. The Crisis 3 multiplayer will support 12 players on consoles and 16 on PC. The first mode is the all-new Hunter mode. A deadly multiplayer experience and a true test of survival. This unique Hunter mode begins with two players in enhanced nanosuits permanently cloaked and equipped with only the powerful Predator bow as they hunt down 14 cell troopers. However, once a hunter kills a trooper, the next respawn will cause the trooper to become a hunter, slowly tipping the scale in favor of the hunters until there's only a single trooper operator fighting for their survival. Well done. Marine threat has been neutralized. Hunter mode is an adrenaline rush you'll want to experience over and over again. There are two modes and two maps in the beta. The other game mode available in the beta is Crash Site. Each team will have eight players per side on PC and six on console. Each player will have control of a nano suit, which they will choose between a series of predefined loadouts before entering the match. Upon entering the map, an alien dropship will deploy a pod at a random location indicated by a marker on your HUD. Pods have a capture zone in which players must spend time in to accumulate points for a team capture. Points will be awarded to any player that's inside the capture radius, in addition to points for your team. After a period of time, the contested pod will explode and a new pod will be deployed at another random location. Note that each pod holds two shields, which can be used as a defense tool or thrown at the enemy to inflict damage. Other elements, such as lamp posts, can also be used as weapons. Also making its debut in Crash Site is the addition of the pinger. Take control of the pinger and use its devastating firepower to overwhelm the other team. It is possible to destroy the pinger or jump on top to remove the current pilot with force. The team that accumulates the most points at the end of 10 minutes or up to a score of 150 wins the round. Another great piece we've added into Crisis 3 is the New York Feed. The New York Feed is a dynamically generated map of New York City that creates an information flow of what you and your friends have been achieving in-game. In addition, this will allow you to take them on in custom-generated achievements to show them up as who is really the best. The open beta starts January 29th on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Enjoy the beta and suit up for the hunt on February 19th when Crisis 3 hits store shelves.